gosh, mind my face. I am burnt to a crisp. You can't see it, but look at my legs. They are, my arms are so much worse, but I'm gonna take you guys. I just got back from, got back to my apartment from my home home. I went to the lake for Memorial Day weekend. It was so much fun, but I didn't put on sunscreen today and that was a big mistake. So, yes. Anyways, these all fell down, so I need to put them all back up with screws or something, but I'm gonna take you the next couple of days of I need to prep. Today's Monday. I start work on Thursday. There's so much I need to get done before Thursday between tomorrow and Wednesday. So I need to go run downstairs tonight. Right now, I'm going to go get my packages. I should have two. It says I have one, but I should have two. And then I got to hit Lowe's, the grocery store, the post office, a um, bunch of other places. So I figured I would take you guys along. A couple days in my life uh pre-work all my little errands i'm running so i'll keep you guys updated literally just had to put this on this like file cabinet roller because this thing is huge sweating I also need to clean up my whole entire apartment because it is a disaster like I haven't finished putting away stuff yet but I think having the second nightstand is going to help a lot um still haven't mounted my tv still haven't ordered a coffee table and side tables yet I need to do that tonight because that's driving me insane okay one last thing these are my Shutterfly cards I ordered for thank you cards and they are tiny, but they are actually so adorable. This is the front. And it says, thank you. It's just one of my grad photos. And then that's me and my parents. And then I just said, thank you so much, friends and family, for the endless support and encouragement. First Timothy 4.12, don't let anyone look, on, look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. I appreciate the kind words and your help as I start my new phase in life. Again, thank you so much. So, just a little thank you card for the people who um, sent me something from graduation. So, I need to do those and send them out also tomorrow. I'm literally so exhausted. I'm not even tired. I'm just like burnt to a crisp and I'm not even that hungry, but I know I need to eat because I haven't eaten, but I was gonna do some of it tonight, but I'm thinking I need to lay down and relax for the rest of the night and then get up first thing, go to the gym, make breakfast, and then hit out all the things and meal prep for the week. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Making my coffee so I can survive this day. It is a long day. been a busy morning it's already noon which I'm like freaking out because I feel like I don't have time but I wrote down a little list and oh my gosh I need to blend that out anyways I made a list to see the things I'm gonna get done today so just put on some clothes and some like tinted moisturizer and I need to fix this real quick 
But anyways, so this morning I got up and addressed all of my thank you cards. Look how cute my thank you cards are. So I think I should, wait, no, I showed you guys. The front is like this. Okay, the front's like this. And then inside is that. And I wrote thank you to everyone. So sending, I have all of these right here. I just have one person left that I need to confirm their address. So all these are right here. And then I have two curtsy orders I need to ship out and drop off at UPS. So I'm hoping I can just slide in the mail downstairs and outgoing, drop those off. Um, I need a Lowe's to return these uh, plugs. So I need to grab that. And then I need to get reusable bags to go to the grocery store. So I think what I'm going to do is hit, I don't know what order, probably. Ooh, maybe. I don't know. I got to figure out what the best order is to do it. I don't want to do grocery store first. Um, probably Lowe's. UPS grocery store or Lowe's grocery store UPS. And then. So then. I'm going to come back here. Put I'm not going to get that many groceries. I think I'm going to get like. Lettuce. I'm going to have stuff. I only work one day this week. Because I only work Monday through Thursdays. So. Literally, Thursday's my first day, but then I don't work again until Monday, so it's kind of funny. This is my little outfit. Um, Literally nothing crazy. I really need to go to the gym because this is not okay. I need to get into a routine, and I don't think until my place is clean, I can get... Oh, hey. I don't think until I get into... My place is clean, I can get into routine. So, these fell... So I'm debating if I, okay, the other one's fine, but this one cracked. So I'm debating on if I should try to hot glue it or if I should just like order a whole new frame. I just keep ordering stuff and it's like 20 bucks. Like I just ordered hangers and it was like 20 bucks. And I just ordered airy stuff, which I shouldn't have, but whatever. So that's being really annoying because... I want to hot glue that, but I don't have a hot glue gun, so I might buy that. I have one somewhere, but I don't think it's in this apartment. So, oh my gosh, and it fell and left marks on my wall. So hopefully, I'm just going to ignore it. I have a coffee table coming in on either Thursday or Friday. Just a black one to kind of tie in the frames. And then two side tables, and I'm going to put one right here and then obviously this junk is going to be moved off the mini fridge and it's just going to be the mini fridge and then the side table and the lamp on there and then I'm going to put I have my blanket basket back here but I think I'm going to try to slide in hopefully it fits the other table right here and then obviously the coffee table and if it if it doesn't look good over here then I might move my mini fridge over here but I was thinking just leaving that area opened and so yeah and then in my room i need to pick up i need to fold my laundry put away pick up these random little things and then these are all my random little things i need to figure out i think i'm going to get a table for my 3d printer and put it right here like something small and then i need to mount my tv still um and so i need to figure out all that jazz but I think I'm going to go Lowe's, UPS, grocery shop, or USPS, grocery shopping, come back, put the stuff away, prep meals if I need to, and then I'm going to, I think, go back out to TJ Maxx and Target. I don't know. Or maybe that'll be a tomorrow thing. Because <sighs> I do need to do my onboarding tonight. What else, is, what else is on my list? So. I don't know. Because I need to also take out. I have this box. Of all this cardboard. That needs to go. And. It's kind of heavy. So. I'm not sure on that. But I'm just going to go ahead and go to. UPS and that jazz. And get that done out of the way uh 
I'm so frustrated. There's so much to do, but I'll keep you guys updated. guys I just finished some errands for the day I did Lowe's and luckily there's a UPS drop-off at Kroger so I went Lowe's Aldi Kroger so I am done for the grocery shopping and I'll show you what I got so first off Aldi I got some lettuce I got mozzarella and parmesan cheese because I made like pasta bowls and I was like I really wish I had cheese to go with it. So I got that. I got mushrooms to cut up for a salad. <laughs> I got Texas toast because I love Texas toast. And I feel like whenever I have pasta, I need to have garlic bread. So got that. Potatoes when I wanted to make like homemade mashed potatoes or roasted potatoes. More frozen broccoli because I don't think you can go wrong. And then I got some heavy whipping cream to make my own Alfredo-ish Alfredo -ish pasta sauce. Because I have skim milk because I only drink skim milk. And the sauce didn't work with the skim milk, obviously. So I got heavy whipping cream. And then also from Aldi, the fruit, I got some bananas. And then I restocked on all my other fruits. So I got blackberries, blueberries raspberries this time and strawberries i've realized that this past couple days when i was here that i get i eat dinner pretty early and i get hungry and i'll be getting off 10 hour days earlier so i'll probably still be eating dinner at like 5 30 i like early dinners but then around like 8 i get a little snacky right before bed so i've realized some fruit in a bowl and then a couple of the chocolate covered fruit is like the perfect snack and then i also got two avocados for salads or avocado toast or whatever i did good at aldi and then i went to kroger and i went in for one thing and i ended up spending 45 dollars. i spent more at kroger than i did at aldi which just makes me mad but i replenished my frozen chocolate covered snacks but i got more chocolate covered bananas but then i also found this big bag of um Chuck covered raspberries and I could have gotten the little bag but I know I'm gonna like them so I got the big bag of those and then I got a sandwich container because I have glass containers but I kind of wanted a plastic one for work I still need to go get a lunch box um and then I got some whisks for my pasta sauce because I don't have any whisks and then I got I just found this random reusable freezer mat thing to put in my lunchbox to keep my stuff cold and then lastly i saw these on the aisle and i was like let me try they were two for four and everyone oh my gosh everyone posts them so i wanted to give them a try because i like dr pepper but i only like it because i like the carbonation so these are the poppy everyone has um one of my favorite youtubers Mary Sergi always drinks these or yeah I think anyways um so it was two for four and so they only had a couple since I'm with a Kroger and it's not like Publix and it's not like Whole Foods or Trader Joe's or anything they didn't really have that many options so I got one of each flavor that they had they had ginger lime which is cold and then they had an orange which I don't typically like orange things but if this tastes like Fanta then I might like it and then they had cherry limeade, which I think I'm going to like, and a watermelon. So, they're prebiotic sodas. So, they're, like, not really sodas. They're only 5 grams of sugar and only 25 grams of calorie versus, like, a Dr. Pepper is, like, 210. So, zero total fat, zero sodium, 7 grams of carbs, 5 grams of total sugars. So... I think I'm gonna try 
the ginger lime. I'm hoping this tastes like ginger ale because I love ginger ale. So I'll try this. It kind of tastes like it kind of tastes like ginger ale, but it kind of tastes like slightly watered down 7-Up. Which I'm not mad about. So, that is my little haul. And I'm going to cut up, put everything away and then cut up the fruit and stuff and kind of meal prep just a little bit. These are low-key expensive. Um, this tiny bag is like $7. So, I don't know. I might try making my own and just putting in them in this bag, but we'll see. I also have stuff to make tacos, not taco salad, pasta salad. Um, I don't have everything, but I have a good chunk of the thing. So I think I'm also gonna meal prep that because pasta salad is the best thing because you can keep it cold. You don't have to heat it up or anything and it tastes so good. So I'll probably meal prep some of the pasta tonight.
I've learned that for me and my personality type, if I prep my stuff, if I take the time out of my day to grocery shop and then prep my food, I'm like a thousand times more likely to eat it. So like all my fruit, I got these glass jars off of Amazon and all my fruit I cut up. I get it from Aldi, which isn't like, I mean the fruit's good. It's not like it's bad, but I get the fruit and I cut it up and I prep it and put it in its each respective containers. And I've realized that I am 20,000 gazillion, gazillion times more likely to actually eat the fruit. So now I'm gonna prep some pasta salad for the week and then maybe go to TJ Maxx. It's just all the way in Augusta and I hate driving over there, but it's really not that far. It's like a 10 minute drive. So I might, we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna make my mama's pasta salad and I'm gonna show you guys how I make it. So you boil some tri color rotini and then after that's, and then while it's boiling, I'm gonna cut up some cucumbers into like little tiny pieces and then some white cheddar block cheese. And then you, once it's boiled, you mix in a little bit of Italian dressing and a little bit of Italian seasoning and you put it all together and it makes pasta salad. She normally also puts in pepperoni, but I don't have pepperoni and I don't have any reason to buy it other than pasta salad. So I'm not gonna buy pepperoni. But, I will show you guys me making this as well. Okay guys, ooh, I was also gonna show you guys while I'm making this stuff what I got from Lowe's, which you guys already know because I had to return this stuff, which sucks because this was way more expensive, but I got eight foot, don't need eight foot, probably only needed a foot, but three outlet cord plug-in, so I can, it has a flat side so I can push my TV and my dresser up against the wall. So I got two of those, one for that. And then the nightstand on my right of my bed, if you're looking at it, is far enough away from the outlet that the nightstand doesn't go up against the outlet, but the one on the left does. So I don't have lamps for there right now, which is why I wanted to go to TJ Maxx. But I got this one for the other one. And then I got nine volt batteries for the uh what's that oh stud finder so i also kind of want to go on a walk run because it's really hot outside so i'll get a good sweat in okay so i cooked the pasta i i only cooked a little bit probably enough for like two and then you add in the toppings but i think you could also add in like i think tomatoes would be good in here my mom doesn't like tomatoes that's why i don't have tomatoes um even like make it like kind of like a cowboy caviar, I think it'd be really good too. So you just add this. Okay. 
a little bit of dressing. A little bit of mix. I'm gonna mix it up and we'll see. I might next time I might add something else in here. I don't know. Give it some spice or some not spice, but like maybe black olives or chickpeas. Loki might be really good in this. I oh I keep dropping the cheese. I might add chickpeas to this, but let's see. I'm gonna get some noodles and cheese. So good. The noodles are a little underdone, but that's an easy fix. Mm. Good morning. Okay, it is Wednesday the 31st, and I start my first day of work tomorrow. I'm so nervous. Ah! Okay, I'm nervous, but I have most everything done. So, I popped my pizza in the oven and I'm gonna cook that and eat it and then after I'm done probably about run, about one I'm gonna run to Target or I'm gonna run to TJ first and then Target and get uh, a couple last things uh, I have gift cards for them so I figured I need to get like a lunch box and like maybe any other work clothes or work shoes that I want so I'm gonna do that and then that's all I have on the list for that and then I guess come back here and really clean I want to hang up my stuff but I think I'm gonna do that Friday cuz I really need to clean off like my island and my bedroom and like put my clothes away and do all those other little things so I'm gonna do that look at my pizza it's the best pizza ever mmm so good so I'm gonna do that and then uh, run to those places and I'll show you guys what I get from those places Okay, so I just got back from TJ Maxx and Target and I'll give you guys a little haul of everything I got um, I definitely could have find better. Th I definitely could have found better things, but I Kind of wanted to have some of the stuff by tomorrow. So I kind of just bit the bullet and got it So I'm also doing my snapchat that I do also so let me get situated I'll do TJ Maxx first um, so starting with TJ Maxx I got this is not my favorite and I'll be ordering a new one eventually but it's not bad I got a lunchbox because I need a lunchbox for work and I just don't have one besides one that is like I got for free so I got this purple one don't love it don't hate it though but I do love that I looked on the I like how it's flat because I got a purse also and I wanted to put it in a purse so I think it'll work great zippers are kind of annoying okay and then the thing I got excited about was on the inside it had a sandwich container and this little container which I was mad because I literally bought this yesterday like a sandwich Like I was saying, I literally bought a sandwich container yesterday. So, I was kind of a little mad that I bought one, but now I have two. So, that and it came with this, like, ice pack, which I'm going to put in the freezer. Okay, so that was the first thing I got from TJ Maxx. It was, like, $13. So, I was like, might as well get it now, and then, you know, I have to get it again. So, then here comes the fun stuff. This is stuff I did not need at all, whatsoever. But, so, I'll start with this i didn't try these on so i hope that they fit um just these cute little flowy shorts and they have pockets so i was thinking they'd be cute like 
over a bathing suit if I'm out on the boat or just like with a white. I have a tube top. I know tube tops are not in, but I think it'd be cute with this also. And then I found this Calvin Klein bra. I love Calvin Klein bras and I love finding them at like TJ Maxx. So I got this one. I got it a medium though. I normally get a small just because my boobs have gotten bigger. So, and it was like 13 bucks also. So it was super cheap. And then the fun stuff. Hold on. Okay, so I got two pairs of shoes. Oh wait, shoot. I forgot this. I also got um, a work shirt. <laughs> Y'all, I look like a grandma. But I figured this would be perfect for like autumn, fall. And it really wasn't that bad. I got it in a medium so it would be a little big because I hate when shirts like squish me. But it's, it's really not bad. So I thought it would be a cute little work shirt. And then the fun stuff. I've been wanting to get a pair of like workout running kind of shoes. So, and then I was like, Hoka's Brooks, Hoka's Brooks, Hoka's Brooks. And then I couldn't decide and then they were so expensive. But I found these at TJ Maxx and I was like, you know what? I'll just get these for now. There's these super cute New Balances. Sorry, I'm showing the vlog also. But they're super cute New Balances and they're like teal and it's like my favorite color. So I just thought they'd be really cute for running and working out. And they were like $60, so I was like, might as well get them, but they are adorable. Don't you see? I'm low-key obsessed. So I'm probably gonna go downstairs and go on the treadmill. Cause I just didn't have any good running shoes. I just had like my Nikes. And I think these would also be good if like, I know I can wear tennis shoes to work like after a while. So it might even be good as like work shoes if I wanted like comfy good for my foot shoes. Cause like, I love my Nikes, but they're not the best for your feet. So I got those. Okay, and so the second pair of shoes I got, so cute. They're Steve Madden's. They were 40 bucks. So I was like, I had a $40 gift card. So I was like, might as well. They're a teeny bit big on me, but they're so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, are they not the cutest things? I have a pair of like white platforms, but I wanted black ones and this like stretchy material makes them so comfy. They're seven and a half, but I just figured mine as well they're super comfy and cute and they fit pretty well so i got these and i'm obsessed so that's all for tj maxx okay target time i didn't get like really anything at target I, like two things but so i wanted a new work bag and i have my like <coughs> <coughs> other black bag from bear bradley but i wanted a leather one and this was 30 bucks, so I went ahead and got it. And it's just this like tote bag. I'm not in love with it, but like I said, it was 30 bucks. It zips up at the top. I'm hoping I can fit. Ideally, I'm gonna have a folder with all my like, sorry, I mean, oh my gosh. I'm gonna have a folder with all my stuff in it, but I was hoping I could fit my lunchbox in here so I don't have to look like a good doofus walking around work holding a purple lunchbox like I'm in 12th grade and it fits perfectly oh my gosh and i could fit a whole water bottle in here too and my keys and stuff so i just thought it'd be cute like it kind of doesn't stay on the shoulder as much as i would like but just thought it'd be a cute little work bag so that's what i got and then okay and then all these other things are just little things i saw at target so um i gotta take my sister off of this story so she doesn't see but this isn't for my sister but i got the ice passion tea i've been mixing it with lemonade and it kind of tastes like a starbucks refresher so you definitely should try this because it tastes really good and i'm trying to see i already have one but this is ice passion so i wonder i think this one's unsweetened oh this one's unsweetened so i think this one's unsweetened so i think i'm gonna like this one better because it's like not unsweetened okay and then also i got some more poppies that i saw so you guys missed yesterday because i didn't do a grocery haul in here but i got a couple poppies to try because everyone raves about them so i got the typical strawberry lemon and then i got grape because everyone also raves about grape so I'm gonna have one of these tonight. I had ginger lime yesterday and then I have, um, I still have orange, 
cherry limeade and watermelon to try. So I'm gonna try these. And then this was the thing, I'll take my sister off so she doesn't see this, but she just bought a house up in Indiana. So I was like, I think it'd be cute to get her a little like card. So I got her a little home sweet home card. I think it's so cute. I've been on a sending cards way because I have stamps and it's so easy to send mail from your apartment because you just put it in the outgoing mail. So I have that and then I, sorry, I have that and then I have, uh, I got her Starbucks gift, not Starbucks, a Target gift card because I didn't know what else to get her and I didn't know if she had Lowe's or Home Depot and then I wanted to get her a TJ Maxx card but they didn't have any Target and I figured Target's you know, you can't go wrong. So, that's what I got for my little hauls. Hey, guys. Oh, my gosh. I'm, like, sweating like a dog. I, ooh, can't even see me. I feel like I need to just, okay, and sideways. All right, we're just going to go with this. So, oh, I'm going to end this. I just did a little, okay, this is the worst way to show you guys. outdoor walk it says I well, it was like a walk slash run it said I did 3.7 miles oh stop Siri and I burned about 381 calories so I pretty much went walked the first mile and then ran half a mile and then walked like a mile ran half a mile then walked like 0.8 and then ran another half mile and then walked home so there's a bunch of like walking past trails and even like nice neighborhoods near me so I just I think it's something I want to get into and I have the new shoes on <sighs> so I think, I know burning something I've been wanting to get into for a while, but I get so bored. So bored, unbelievably bored. So if you have any suggestions on how to not be bored when you go on a run, greatly appreciate it because I ain't got no idea. So I listed some country, but then I just like, ugh. And then I ended up listening to worship music because I didn't know what else to listen to. Well, that was like mostly on the walk home. So I like ran, I walked one way down, ran back up past the other way, walked back and then kind of cut over and ran up and then walked back the way I ran originally. So I kind of feel like a little figure eight almost down, up, over, up, but yeah. Not that you guys need to know that, but my house is a mess. Well, I mean, okay, yeah, it's a mess. Um, so, I think I'm gonna cool off, start thinking about dinner. I have half a pizza left from lunch, so I was thinking about eating the rest of that and then doing like a big salad. I have a bunch of lettuce, I have tomatoes, peppers, onions, mushrooms. I don't have any cucumber, but I could do some like big salad and I could even do like how, um, Italian places do where they put some of the like the lunch meat on top because I have ham and turkey I don't have salami but I might do that for dinner I literally can't get over how cute these are like so cute I need to try on the rest of my stuff but I need to shower also but I'm really thirsty so maybe I'll let me try a poppy what should I try um I want to try the orange I think I really want a Dr. Pepper, but I'm going to try this poppy. Okay, so this is the orange poppy. I had the lime, ginger lime yesterday. I'm hoping this tastes like a Fanta. Oh, it doesn't look like a Fanta. It tastes like Fanta for the most part. Low-key low key tastes like a, um, 
a melted orange popsicle. That's good. Okay, well, I really need a shower, but I really don't want to. But I know I want my hair dried before tomorrow. But I'm starting because I ate lunch at like 11. So, I might just cool off and prep dinner. I'll probably end up eating dinner around 5.36ish because it's like 5.15 right now. Um, and then I'm going to prep my work bag with a folder and everything so I'm good to go. Oh my gosh, I need to check on all my bills and make sure I can have everything paid by tomorrow. So, I'm going to do that and then I'll check back in. Hey vlog, it is now 7.41 on Wednesday and I'm going to end this vlog here. Um, I'm pretty much just packing, prepping my lunch for tomorrow and I have my bag ready and I really just need to clean random things around the house. Because it's kind of stressing me out but then also part of me is like, it's going to get done when it gets done. So, I need to try on these clothes and then store a load of laundry, clean up a couple things and yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll do um, some more fun vlogs in the future, but I thought it'd be fun to do a little prep with me for my first day of work tomorrow, so I'm so excited, and I will see you guys then.